I went to the doctor, I said, dear doctor, can you help me out? He said, second door on the left. I said, every time I lift my hand up, but that it hurts. He said, well, stop lifting your hand up. I took my dog on the bus the other day, and he did a whoopsie. The bus conductor said, I'm not having that on my bus. I said, well, I don't want it. <laughs> I've been having a bit of constipation. <laughs> I went to the doctor's. <laughs> I asked Betty to go on it, but she wouldn't. In fact, I took Betty the first time. I said, doctor, I think Betty's pregnant. He said, no, it's only wind. Three months later, she was out here. I took her back to the doctor and said, look, I think she's pregnant. He said, no, it's only wind. I said, I'm her husband. Do you think I'm a bicycle pump? <laughs> I was close. I was close. <laughs> no, no, it gets worse than that. I said to the doctor, I've been constipated now for over a week. <laughs> and he gave me some tablets. He said, don't take them till you get home. I thought, well, what do you know? <laughs> so I took one while I was on the bus reading the evening courier. And all of a sudden I got the urge. <laughs> oh, it's awful, isn't it, when you get that bang? <laughs> Well, luckily, there was no one on the top deck, so I dropped my trousers and did it in the newspaper. Rolled it up and put it out of the window. <laughs> when I got home, I still had the urge. There'd been a power cut and all the lights had gone out. I ran up the stairs, just got to the bathroom, pulled down my pants, sat on the toilet. Oh, what a relief. Just then, there was a tap on my shoulder. I said, I'm sorry, Betty, I didn't see you sat there. 